beautiful people. Welcome back to We're Working You Arts and Crafts. Today we are making a two-sided sign. The things you will need is we have the paint brushes. I'm using three different paint brushes. And we have our paint and we have our sign that we got from our local Dollar Tree. So let's get started. First, you're gonna um, take the paint, you're gonna take the paintbrush and you're gonna start painting the sign. You wanna take it, you wanna start from the um the, the top part first to make sure you get all the um the corners. So when when it's when it looks when it's finished, you don't have to worry about um no empty spaces that doesn't have paint. So that's what we're going to do. We're going to paint the top first. And this paint that I have right here is called is watercolor paint. So it um dries I noticed that it dries much faster than um, the other paints that I've had. So we're gonna keep on painting this. You wanna make sure you have um, more paint just in case that you don't, ha um, just, just in case you run out of the other paint. We're just gonna keep on painting this, and we're and, and we're gonna also draw. We're, we're gonna also do the letters on here too, and we we're, we're gonna use we're gonna use black for that. So you just wanna keep on painting. I usually start from the bottom, but today we're gonna do we're gonna do the top first. So it can be more easy. Hello everyone, we are back. Um, we have painted the whole the whole um heart. And now what we're gonna do right now is just um do the letters to it. We're gonna take our paintbrush and we have we're gonna use um the black paint and we're just going to um do the letters on it now. I prefer to use like a thin, a thin um paintbrush so you can actually do the writing, because it's kind of hard when you use um a thick brush to paint the letters on. So I would prefer to use a thinner brush if you're going to do writing. You can always add stickers also. You can um make it, you know unique and personal. This can also be for, um, you, got, you can put this on your wall and you put this in your wall or on your door. It doesn't matter where you put it. Um, you can put it in your room or on your room door. Right now we're just, um, we are painting the letters on. On. You can also use marker. You can also use marker too. But I prefer to use paint because I like how it um, looks on the wood. And it also dry, and like I said before, it also dries fast. Also, so you just want to keep on doing your letters. Um, and for the other side, I, 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 um, after I painted the letters on, 
I, I waited till it dried and I repainted over so it can be more darker. You can also do that for this, the same on this side. But for now, we are just going to paint it um, once because this is a, a lighter blue. Now we're going to do the other side. And you're not going to need that much black for, for um, writing the letters unless you're doing big letters like I did on the other side. You see it guys so far? How it looks I'm doing cursive on this side and it's okay if you mess up mess up sometimes you can always go over it with the with the paint until like till you get the you get it the right way that you want it to be we're almost done with this, guys. We're going to do that. Put the Hooks on top. Now we're just gonna do our our scripture at the bottom. And with this, I'm just gonna put the abbreviation for it instead of writing out the whole thing. Cause some um, cause sometimes you sometimes you run out of space, so we're just gonna do the abbreviation. dots and we're going to do that. Okay guys, this is how it looks after it is finished. This is this side and this is the other side. Well, guys, this has been We're Working in You Arts and Crafts um, with Taya. I hope you guys have a good day. Bye.